you know what they say, Red Bull gives you diabetes. And that's why we're looking at the best budget wingers right now as of the middle of October. Now these are wingers for any budget, but we're going to have to start at the beginning with your quick sell guys that you can buy under 2k. Notice how I have it set up. Players who shoot right are on the left side and players who shoot left are on the right side. I did this because it's a common belief that you want your shooters on the forehand facing the inside instead of the outside. That makes it so that not only your one-timers are stronger when you're passing it across the ice, but also when you enter the zone and cut to the middle, it's a lot easier to score. So let's start with our first two players. We're going to go through this really fast so that you guys aren't here on this video for hours. Atkinson's up first. He's got 92 in almost every major skating stat outside of speed at 91. His shot a little bit more accurate than his power for his small frame. Then on the opposite side, you have Ehlers, who does have 92 in those skating stats and a consistent 80 across the board for his shooting stats. From worst to best, we move on to your third line that's under 2K. We have the new star Pavelski, and opposite of him, we have Teravainen. Pavelski is a little bit slower than our Atkin friend, but at A2 overall, he has the better overall stats. He also has a more accurate shot, so that's why we put him here. On the flip side, Teravainen skates similarly to Ehlers, however, he just has a better shot at making this team. No, I'm just kidding, it's all up to you. Most of the wingers I present to you guys are really, really fast, but they also can't have a terrible shot. There are some exceptions, like this Besser, who isn't going to be as fast, but he has a way better shot. Duran is just a really good underrated card this year, so we're going to have him there as well. As you see here, Besser with 88 skating stats, the slowest out of the cards that I've shown so far. Both 84, 83 accuracy and power, I think he's worth it. Duran's fast, and he's only a few points shy off of Besser's shot. Okay, for this last group, which is supposed to be your top line of your under 2k squad, I forgot that I was dumb and Larkin was in my centers video because he actually has good faceoff stats, you know, unlike Debrinkat. So we're going to have to make a quick last second substitution and throw in ex-teammate Gustav Nyquist. Doesn't have to be on your top line for this squad, but at least he's fast, he's got a shot, and we'll leave it at that, don't be mad at me. After this, begin your first set of upgrades in Point and Duchesne, who can go for about 3 to 4k. What you want to do is get rid of your worst guys, put these guys on your top line, and then move every line downward. Point's going to feel as fast as your other guys, but he's going to have a way better shot. If you aren't using Duchesne as a center, which you shouldn't be according to my centers video, having him here as a winger instead will give you a slight boost in skating. The duo of Kessel and Kuznetsov are up next. Kessel can be bought under 6k, Kuznetsov under 10k. For an 83 overall, Phil Kessel certainly does not seem like one. Fast and good shot means he's a great winger for you to have. Similarly, Kuznetsov as an 84 overall just has a weaker shot, but at 6'2", that's not entirely too bad. Up next, if you don't have the cover line A card, well, that's too bad. However, you can get Redemption because any Patrick Line A card is a really good card. Ehlers also makes an appearance again as a primetime card. Let's take a look at Line A. Most of the guys that I chose aren't all that big, but Line A is big and he's fast and he has a good shot. Ehlers with the plus two upgrade means he's at 94 in skating and 82 in shooting. Base cards Sagan and Johnny Hockey are up next. Sagan can be purchased for under 11k, Johnny Hockey under 15k. Sagan's not only a good looking guy, but he's also got good looking stats for his good looking card. Plays beyond his 84 overall, that's why you should pick him up. Johnny Hockey's going to be faster, he's going to be smaller, but with a less powerful shot. Up next we have more expensive 84 overalls in Stamkos and Hall. They're going to be pushing 20k, but you could probably get them for a little bit cheaper. Both Stamkos and Hall are going to be adding some height to your squad. At six foot one, you know, that's a whole inch above some of the other guys. Stamkos could have a better accuracy, but his speed and power are good. For Hall, his skating will be doing most of the work. At this point, we're starting to get to some more expensive players. Debrinkat makes another appearance this time, his Stadium Series card at 84 overall. Malkin's big man that he is makes an appearance here as well as an 85 overall. DBC can be picked up for under 40k, Malkin under 30k. We already mentioned his 82 overall was really good. His 84, even better, obviously. Two points better, in fact. For Malkin, we're putting him in here primarily because of his size. He can still skate really well and have a good shot. More expensive base cards coming your way. Entering the 86 overalls, we have Kane and McKinnon, who go for under 70k. As 86 overall cards, their biggest improvement will be every other stat. 
However, these two guys also maintain great speed and have amazing shots. Kane in particular is going to be dancing in the 90s. Two classic NHL cards are up next that can be purchased for under 80k or so. We've got Brayden Point and Ninja Hurdle at 86 overall. For a card that came out in the first week of the game, this card has stood strong for being a great winger to have. His skating exceeds his overall and his shooting isn't that bad. Hurdle's going to be on the opposite side, not as fast as Point. However, he is bigger and Point needed a partner. Line A makes another appearance alongside Kucherov, this time as a primetime card. These cards go for about under 95, 90k or so. A plus two line A means he crosses the 90 threshold in skating, and his shooting stats aren't too far behind. Kucherov's a little bit faster, but with a weaker shot. Okay, so at this point, we're going to start wrapping things up. I'm going to be telling you guys the best righties as wingers, and then the lefties as wingers, because these guys, their prices are all over the place. They don't really have partners, so they didn't make sense to put a guy worth like 300k with another guy worth 100k. So this Gardner card is a solid card for an 88 overall. One of the best icon cards that you can have. He's got 92 acceleration, 95 speed, his agility a little bit lacking. But with a solid shot and good synergies to go along with that, he's a great card to have. You can pick him up for about 250k. Solani as an 88 overall is really good and he's really expensive. That's why while he's one of the best wingers to have on your team, good luck trying to get him unless you're filthy rich. Dion is a weaker skater, but a better shot. He's also a better puck handler, making him the second best winger on this list. Not including any of the new cars that they just released. Lemieux takes the crown as the top right shooting winger. And well, are you surprised because he goes for near a million coins. On the opposite side, let's go over your lefties. There are a lot of better options out there. Team of the Week, Johnny Hockey makes a return, pushing his skating stats over 95. You can get him for under 100k. Base McDavid has an 87 overall, almost maxed out skating. That's why he's on this list. You can get him for under 150k. This Kucherov, not faster than McDavid, however, a way better shot. If you want to pick him up, he's double the price of the McDavid we just went over, under 315k. X Synergy kind of helps with that as well. Master set player Rantanen is a six foot four fast skater who's hardly ever on the auction house, but for the rich people, I mean, he's one of the best wingers in the game. Howie Morenz, he's short, but he's fast and he's got a killer wrister. Pick him up for under 450k. I mean, at this point, when it comes to these master icons, it's just whenever they're available, however price uh, the person wants to sell them for. Last week's team of the week, Connor McDavid, with with one point off of maxed out skating, he's the second best left shooting winger at the time of this video. And with someone that fast, well, how can you resist? Finally, Gretzky is going to be the best one, only because he's a 91 overall and all of his stats are way better than anybody else. He's slower than McDavid, has a worse shot than Morenz, wrist shot wise anyway. But if you want a player that can do it all except for hit, Gretzky is your man. So there you have it guys, those are your best wingers for that particular budget. There are some guys that couldn't fit into the video, such as a primetime Pasternak or primetime Duchesne. But for the most part, these are the wingers that you want to be going for. Let me know who else you think should be a part of this list and I'll be sure to include them the next time I do this list.